Good morning everybody and welcome back to Goldcrest Valley in Farming Simulator 22. Now today I have something to show you and uh, it's all to do with the last episode. Now before I go on I just want to show you this excerpt from the last episode. Okay, I didn't realise, but this one's been raised raised up. I wish I'd saved it before I did that because, well, I suppose it's okay. We're not going to, we'll just be on a, on a bit of an angle when we come down here to pick things up. So, uh, I'll, I'll leave it as it is. It's just going to be an Englishman's folly forevermore. <laughs> so, uh, so, it turned out it wasn't an Englishman's folly forevermore because... Uh, we can change things sometimes in Farming Simulator and I have changed things and if we could look over here I think you'll agree that we've changed things for the better. Here are our, our greenhouses now arranged in a different sort of order and front to back rather than on the side and I'm much happier because I didn't like the fact that the, the, the land was transformed before and the other idea I have, and also I had a really nice old American gentleman come in and put this well in for us. So we, now we have a source of water and it's completely free. And we also, let's just pop down here, have a new trailer. A normal trailer, not an unreal trailer. And we have some tomatoes. So I changed the production to tomatoes as well. So everything's changed around here. Let's see if we can fly and I'll show you what was before and what isn't anymore. So... I'm very happy about it. I'm not sure if you are, but I am, definitely. And also, uh, I would like to clear these trees and put two more greenhouses in here, sort of facing, so they're facing each other. So then we have five greenhouses, and I think that'll be the perfect amount. So we'll do that later. I was thinking, actually, we do have a lot of um, forestry machines and as a ceremonial gesture for their last thing they can come in and chop down this tree here so talking about forestry i think we should get back to the forest um i should explain that we paid five thousand dollars to charity and we have a lot of things here on a five-day loan uh including this rotney uh, tree chopper downer i'm not sure the correct name for it uh and also we have over there a um, telehandler and we have a, a, a truck with a, a logging trailer on it so today I think we should get on immediately with unfolding the Rotney and cutting down some more trees what I'd like to do today is two lots of um, logging or two two full trailer loads of logging of, of logs uh, that we can take to our sawmill and sell. There. Fantastic. So. Um, yeah, so I think for the first um, session of logging, what I will do is I'll do all this, uh, explain a bit more about what we're going to do today, and then we'll just skip to the end. And the second uh, lot of logging, probably I'll do a time lapse or something like that. So. Um, like I say, I have these machines for one more day. Um, now today, we're just going to do normal logging and use all the machines. And tomorrow, what I thought I would do is just use the Rotney here. And just go around the forest, chopping down as many trees as I can before the machine goes back. Um, because we have to send it back after tomorrow. Tomorrow's the fifth day and our last, our final day. We've got these machines for five days. So I think that's what I'll do. So I will now get on with uh, chopping down as many trees as I can and getting a full trailer and I'll see you when I've finished. Okay, I've pretty much finished. I've just got two stumps to clear. Uh, there's a bit more wood around, but uh, I can't really fit them on the on the the load and wagon at the moment. So uh, I'll just leave what what's here. Um, I think this is the last stump, and then we'll take stuff over to the sawmill. So uh, let's get in the lorry. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. 
Uh, we better tie stuff down. <laughs> there are, like I said, there are a few more logs, but we can't fit them on at the moment. So hopefully all the stumps are gone. So we take stuff over to the sawmill. We were selling wood at the carpentry. By the way, I've so rude of me. I've forgotten to introduce you to the map, which I normally do if you're new. So this is the map. This is Goldcrest Valley, which is from Farming Simulator 17. I don't know if you've ever played it, but we have our fields here. Well, if I just show you, this, this these are our lands. Uh, so we have cows here and we have sheep here, and this is our forest. So um, that's where we are, and we've been here since August. So um, we have crops. And now I can't remember what that. Oh, it's wheat and barley actually. So June and July, they should be ready. So anyway, I'm going to go over to the sawmill, and I will see you when I get there. Well, I'm confused about furniture. This is the sawmill, by the way, which we own. Um, oh, we have some planks. Yeah, I'm confused about furniture. If we own the carpentry and we make furniture in there, it's not specified whether we've made it out of, when we sell it, it's not specified whether we've made it out of wood or planks. So there's not two types of furniture, there's only one type. So we don't really, in the future, need to have the sawmill. We just take our wood to the carpentry to make furniture and we don't need to go through the process of making planks first because you, make, you, make, you, make, you can make furniture perfectly well out of wood. Anyway, that's something for me to ponder. Let's just put our wood in the sawmill um, and see how many planks are here. So I won't take them at the moment. There's about three more apart from these ones. So I think I'll just go back to the farm. Uh, one thing I do need to do is just a little job is to pick up the silage bales we have and to sell them because um, we can't use them for TMR or anything at the moment. I think we have a, about 20 silage bales. So I will get that organized and I will see you at our grass field in the south. Okay, so it's taken me a while to get here because um, I hired two autoload trailers but they didn't autoload, neither of them, so I've had to go back and forth to the shop but this is a trusty old, uh, you know, mechanical trailer which is absolutely fine. Now I just must check that these are silage, I I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, uh, we, we harvested them oh days ago now so there must all be silage I'm not even very sure where to where to sell them actually so I'll have to, I'll have to look that up um, but I should say we're, we're kind of saving for a big field at the moment um, there's field 5 and 20 on the map and I would like to go and see both of those fields actually before we buy them so I might do that in this episode um, because I'd like to step on the field and see how they're being treated by their farmers before we actually buy them and I think what b might be a good idea is to find contracts on both those fields because if there are contracts that will improve the fields it's in our interest to do it so uh, it's field 5 and 20 let me just have a look now and see if there's contracts uh, field 18 so the, I'm sure it's field 5 and 20 they are fields here uh, this one here and this one up here so um, five is a bit out of reach that's about 400,000 but 20 is about 300,000 I think and we do we can borrow money as well as the money we've got uh, at the moment so uh, anyway I'll finish off here and then I'll find my way to the the bail sell point Okay, here we are. And if you didn't see a previous episode, there was a previous episode when we um, there was a collectible in this barn, and we found it. It gave us fifty thousand dollars. So, uh, but there's no more collectibles now. Let me just find somewhere to <laughs> to view. Uh, okay, we should get. Yeah, we should get an extra for doing precision farming. I don't. Maybe we don't get that yet. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we do. Oh, it's just popped up. 1,610. So, we have more bales. So I'm going to go and get those. But before I do, we have a sheep pen very local to here, and I want to go and see the wall. Now, you may be asking yourself, why on earth would you want to go and see the wall? But the thing is, 
we have white and brown sheep and I want to see <laughs> if we have brown wool because it stands to reason they're brown sheep, brown wool. So let's go and have a look. It's just up here. There's no, no... Or is it all packed up and we can't see it? Oh, I think it's packed up and we can't see it. Oh, I was looking forward to seeing the brown wool. Let's have a look. Well, at least we have some wool anyway. <laughs> okay, another fool's errand. I'll see you when we're back at the... Well, back over there in the barn. I need to go and pick up the four remaining silage bales. Okay, the final bales. And then I think we should do some more forestry and then we'll move on to the next day. So let's just see how much we end up with here. And I'd like to do some calculations actually because... <coughs> uh, because... Field 20, I think it is. Field 20, the one we like, I would like to buy down here is 346,000. We have 120 at the moment. And now we have 125. <laughs> um, but we can also borrow some money. We've borrowed quite a lot of money. But we've got left to borrow 85,000. So we can... We've got 200... In other words... Uh, I don't I don't want to make this too complicated but we've got 210,000 towards that 346,000 so if we can just carry on making a bit of money each day uh, we should be able to get up to it pretty soon even with using our full $500,000 overdraft facility that we have so that's something to think on uh, but now actually before we do more forestry I would actually go and look I would actually like to go and look at fields 5 and 20. So I'm going to take this tract back, which won't take very long because it's just over here, and uh, get in the car and go and look at fields 5 and 20. So I'll see you when we're, when we're there. So this is field 5 ahead of us, the biggest field on the entire map, which is something I would like to get one day. But I just want to stand on it and see how it's doing. Um, oh, no data found. Fine. Okay. Well, at least it's not, you know, full of weeds or whatever and really unhealthy. So that's field five. Uh, right, let's go and see field 20. Okay, here's field 20 in front of us. And it doesn't look too... I'm not sure what all that stuff... Is that weeds? I'm not sure. I think it is. Anyway, let's have a look. So, yeah, weeds large. <laughs> they are weeds. Um, so, there's nothing much going on with this, except it looks like there's lime down. But anyway, this field is much more affordable for us. It's 300 and something thousand, as opposed to 400 and something th thousand for the, the bigger field. So, I would like to buy this field. Let's just fly for a second, have a look at it. Yeah, it's pretty big, isn't it? I would like to have it for cotton actually. I'd like to do cotton. But um, one day. Okay, I think what I'll do now is more forestry. I'm right here. Here's, here's the forest. Or oh, it used to be a forest anyway, before we got our hands on it. Um, and we'll do more forestry. So this will be the last thing in the day. But I did want to do two lots of forestry uh, today. Uh, because we've only got the machines for today and tomorrow. And where is our Rotney? There it is. So, yeah, I will unfold. And I'll cut some more trees down. And this time I'll put it on a time lapse. So I'll see you when I'm done.
So these are the last logs in the forest. We've left everything tidy because there's no logs lying around. There's no tree stubs. Um, the next job we have to do is to clear loads more trees. Tomorrow we'll have to clear loads more trees with the Rotney and uh, then the machines have to go back. Um, I, I would really like to keep this, uh, this telehandler, this JCB, but uh, I'll have to save up my pennies, I think. Um, I just had a crazy and irresponsible thought, which is to buy the carpentry. Uh, because, um, well, it's a hundred thousand, and we do actually have uh, that much money at the moment. And I mean, we need productions. You know, we need as many productions as we can get. These first two years, I'm concentrating on buying land and buying productions, and these are the things that will make us money. And after that, we can relax a bit and buy better equipment, and you know, all the rest of it, and buy more land. Uh, if we want to. So I think what I will do is go over to the carpentry which is actually in the other direction. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I was going to the sawmill but the carpentry is just here, just behind me. So I am going to be bold and go for it and go and buy it because um, I've noticed that in July the, the prices are at their peak. So uh, we should aim to have some furniture by July and then we can make a bit of money. So where do we buy it? Let's get out of the truck and I don't think it's here. Uh, I think it's here. Oh it's 60,000. I didn't know that. Yes I will definitely buy it. Okay so uh, now the next thing to do I'm not quite lined up properly but is to put all our wood in our new production. So. Okay, I'm trying to put the wood in the production, but I think it might be full up. Um, let's just have a look here. Um, building storage, production, uh, carpentry, which is where, where we're at at the moment. We're 28,940. So it may be that we're full up. So I think that what we have to do... I'm not quite sure how this works actually, because we have the sawmill production that uh, we can put wood in and it's making loads of planks. And we now have the carpentry. We have never put any wood in here, so uh, because we've just we've just sold it to the carpentry, but we haven't put wood in. And I just brought all this wood, and it won't take any more. Where has this wood come from? Anyway, let's go to the sawmill, where our wood will be more appreciated. <laughs> so I will see you when we get over to the sawmill. Things have gone awry. Yeah, I'm really confused about the carpentry actually. We bought it and there seemed to be loads of wood already in there. But has that wood come from here? It's a bit of an Agatha Christie this, I'm not too sure. But let's see if we can put our wood in here. If not, we'll skip on to tomorrow and we will try again. So, let's just see if the wood will go now. Yeah, it will, yeah. So let's have a look at our productions because I didn't I don't even know if I've started furniture producing. I have, and there's 13 litres of it. Uh with wood and with planks. Fine. Fine. Um and now it's the sawmill. Uh we have planks uh storing, but I'm just asking myself the question whether we need to have it distributing instead. No, no, because I want to sell some planks. Uh, so I'll tell you what I'll do is I will we'll skip to tomorrow. Let's go back to the farm here and I'll skip to tomorrow and I would like to sell some stuff because I'd like to get some money in. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. So this is our last day with our machines and one peculiar thing I would like to do with this is to... why is this wood here? Better. Is to take stuff and sell it. 
like we have planks here um, we have some bread I think um, I noticed we had some flour actually at the flour mill uh, right let's try and stack these a bit better than last time um, but I'll just stack these and I will see you when I'm done I'm not quite sure how it's gonna go <laughs> there that's pretty pretty neat I think so I'm just gonna sell these uh, planks I'm not gonna distribute them to to the carpentry because uh, we need sort of more instant money than that so um, I, it's really good that the carpentry only cost us 60,000 instead of a hundred thousand I was convinced it was a hundred thousand anyway where do we sell planks let's have a look oh of course at the carpentry <laughs> I forgot so uh, we sell them there but we won't sell them anymore will we because they will just go into uh, making furniture oh I don't know <laughs> it's so confusing so anyway I'll see you over at the carpentry and K sera sera okay so here we are back to the carpentry and I kind of learnt my lesson from before because uh, to put these in the in the trigger I'll, I'll just park her off a bit and just get out and take take them there manually so uh, yeah this is what I have to do with these I think I just put them in like this okay so it says no spare capacity for planks but I'm still gonna leave them here because when there are where is capacity they'll go presumably so I'm just gonna leave them all in in the trigger and um, so now let's go back to our productions because it's ridiculous me bringing these over when I can just dis distribute them so in the sawmill which is at the top we need to distribute them yes that's right so and then they'll come over to the carpentry we won't, we won't have to to bring them all over again so um, I'll just see you actually when I finish putting these in the trigger okay so that should be all fine now um, I, I expect this time tomorrow they'll all be gone I hope so anyway uh, I'm very confused <laughs> so I think to end the episode I wanted to cause a little bit of mayhem with the Rotney because this is our last day with it today um, and I would like to just chop down as many trees as I can I'm not even going to use the other machines I'm only going to use the Rotney so uh, let's unfold it and I'll probably put this on on one last time lapse if you'll forgive me but I'm going to spend a little while chopping down as many trees as I can while we have the machine so I'll see you at the end of this mayhem Well, there's loads more trees to do, but I don't think I can do them all today. Um, I'm all kind of uh, treed out at the moment, so um, uh, I think this is, this is where we'll leave the episode. Um, we'll still have the, the machines for the rest of today in the next episode. We've only just started the day, so we will... There's, there's one last tree to cut down which will be a bit of a ceremonial thing because uh, it's on the farm um, and I'd like to do that with this machine so anyway thank you very much for watching I hope it's been a good episode and bye for now <laughs>